Number 1. Number two. Okay, Google, play the morning playlist. Okay, playing morning playlist. Okay, Google, play music in all rooms. Okay, Google, I'm listening. Your flight to Portland is delayed by 30 minutes. Change my dinner reservation tonight from 7.30 to 8. Your reservation at Andina is now confirmed for 8 p.m. Hey Google, text Louise. Flight is delayed. Dinner moved to 8. Okay, message sent. Morning. Morning. Hey Google, turn the lights on in Kevin's room. I thought you finished that already. Um, I forgot. Okay, Google, what's apples in Spanish? Manzanas. Hey, Google, has my package shipped? Yes, it's already shipped. It'll arrive tomorrow. Ooh, is that for me? Maybe. Interesting. Okay, Google, how many stars are in our galaxy? Well, there are about 100 to 400 billion stars, according to space.com. Which star is the closest? According to NASA, the nearest star system is Alpha Centauri. Can you show me what it looks like on the TV? Okay, Google, how's the traffic from Pebble Rock School to the airport? Your normal route has heavy traffic. There's a faster one that'll take about 35 minutes. I've sent it to your phone. Okay. Go! Dad! Hey, Google? What's on the calendar today? The first event is Space Day at Kevin's school. It starts at 8 a.m. Space Day. Are you ready, buddy? Ready. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Google. Bye. Goodbye. Number three. Number four.
Number 5. Number six. Crafted by the Google Cultural Institute for every museum. To make the invisible visible in high resolution. Revealing Van Gogh's brushstrokes and the dabs of oil paint. Inch by inch, unveiling every detail of this 1888 portrait of Armand Roulin and many more of the world's greatest masterpieces. Unlocking the art in the details. The Art Camera by the Google Cultural Institute. Number seven. The Dutch cycle more than any other nation in the world. Almost 900 kilometers per person. But that also means we have 350,000 bike-related injuries. Now imagine that we would make biking safer, smarter and easier by applying self-driving technology to biking. We taught our self-driving bike to figure out where it is, what's around it, what will happen next, and what it should do. We leaned on Google's expertise in self-driving cars, but we had to adapt the technology to work on a bike. We decided to add two additional features. First, you can request the bike to pick you up wherever you are, and we developed a comfort mode, adjusting the pedals to a perfect resting position. I think the self-riding bike could really give a boost to the economy, because people could also work uh, on their bicycle. You work in your office, you work in your home, you work in your car. You could even work on your bike. I have so much more time. My kids love it. They're just free. They can go anywhere they want, anytime they want. It's amazing. At the Fietsersbond, we feel that this is the biggest invention since the invention of the bicycle itself. At Google, we always put our users first. With the launch of this bike, we believe we do that again. 